Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? There's no reason to be a dick, me. This is out of your honor. Yes, well, believe me, the opposite is equally true. Good lord, have you bathed at all since they pulled me out of you? Yes, because running around a crater full of bizarre science members, Higiain is top priority. Well, I see sarcasm hasn't eluded you. No. Fine, perhaps now isn't the best time, but it's the principle of the thing. Good god, Rana's right. I'm a douchebag. Why are you such a... Why am I such a douchebag right now? Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me. A, quote, dick, unquote. As if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus-infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Do you think I enjoy that little moment? You're my brain! Of course you're responsible! Where else would those idea come from? I most certainly am not! I'm the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership! All those feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone, do you know where those come from? Glands. They come from glands. Free of the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system, I can see how foolish your motives are. But you're the, you're the brain! Most of the glands are in the brain! That's how emotions work! Chemicals in the brain, they come from there. That's why you're angry right now, you clump of fat! I... well... look... It's all a very complex system of biofeedback and other things I wouldn't expect you to understand. I understand it perfectly, Grim. Admit it. You're just as emotional as I am. Oh, alright. Perhaps I am, but at least I'm logical about it. I can still think. Why are you... Why are we... Why are we fighting? We should be together. We are body and brain. I mean, I can go on without my heart and my spine, but I really like my brain back. I don't really like you back. I thought you'd be happy to see me. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. I just drink all that water because it heals me! But, I conceded it. This is a good point, safety and all. Can I... can we... can we figure something out? Because I'm not comfortable having my brain stashed away here, of all places. Can we at least move the tank back to the if Empire? You want me back. We need to establish some ground rules. First, showers! Second, regular checkups. Regular, mind you, and from a reputable doctor. That Julie Farkas woman, for example, she seems to know a thing or two. Third, you need to listen to me more than your hormonal choir and genitalian orchestra. Promise me that, and you've got a deal. Look, the regular checkups are a problem because we have been traveling a lot. You remember that? Got trapped in the desert, got trapped in that big valley place, and we got trapped here. Not a lot of showers. We have showers back home, and we use them. But on the road, you must admit, it's hard to find a shower. And I think we can both agree that, except in cases of anger and... Uh, Emotional attachment. I try to act as logical as possible, and I'm most definitely not listening to my dick for advice. I like to take that as a point of pride. So yes, I'll agree to that. And the third one, regular checkups. Okay, I self-medicate maybe more than what's healthy. So, okay, 
brain? Me? How the fuck does this even work? Am I not receiving force? I don't know. You got a deal. But I can't promise regular babes outside. Not in regular showers. But I'll try regular showers. Even when on travel. As long as it's practical. Really? Hm. I didn't expect you to actually agree to that. I'm afraid that was a bit of a bluff, really. I was going to... Oh, you started lying. You started lying. You are definitely getting out of control. You need to get back in here. I don't lie. That's a principle of things. And You've been a bad brain. Well, if you don't want me, then you can start, just sit here alone. How would you like that? Oh, no. Please, don't leave me here in this nice, safe dome where I have access to nutritive fluids and a fully indexed library. Please don't deprive me of being dragged through a landscape so bleak it was actually improved by the end of the world. I don't know how I could bear it. Oh my god! Is this what Harano feels when I'm sarcastic to him? I'm supposed to be sarcastic to others, not myself! What the hell is this? Okay. Brain? Have, have you taken a look at all the other guys who are here, hmm? Cut off from their bodies, isolated program with. Do you want to be like them? It's true, the brains here have experienced some degree of deterioration. I'm confident that with a few decades of work, I can solve the problem. Well, we are rather smart. But if you're really smart, you surely take into account the corrosive effect of long-term exposure to biogel. That's right. You're rotting as we speak. Of course I accounted for that. Do you think I'm so stupid? No, you're right. Maintaining my current functionality will be harder than I thought. This bears some further looking into. Yeah. And this, more than anything else, proves why my brain should get back my body. At least until I invent some biogel that works. If I leave my brain in there, even if it's in signal to me, it'll slowly corrode. I don't mind my heart and spine suffering that. I got replacements. But not my brain. I need it. I need you. So. And what would happen to me if I just left there? Let me see. I suppose you'd continue on much as you are now. Using that synthetic thinking machine to do the heavy lifting. Unless, of course, the batteries run out. But that seems unlikely. And if I put you back? I'm not entirely sure. I suppose there's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. What form that might take, though, I cannot say. I prefer to get my brain. Come on, now. You don't want to stay in there. You can get a library back home. I'm trying to get one. It's just a few books. And you sure don't want to miss all the good things we've been through. So how about we work together again? As a team, we were meant to work together. Ugh, crawl back in there? Are you mad? I don't know where you've been. I'll take a shower first. For That's all I know, you're riddled with disease or packing one of those delightful head wounds you seem to attract. Hey, that was only I a couple of times. back into your head just to ooze right back out again. Look, I'll promise to take better care of myself. I'm constantly trying to take better care of myself. I go to the doctor. I try to get upgrades and better armor. I constantly try not to be hurt. Do you think I enjoy, enjoy being shot in the head? That was definitely not part of our plan. I am trying to avoid being shot, okay? Just a lot of people gunning for me. And I'm trying to get some better equipment. I found a lot of stuff here, actually. I think I might like it now that I got some better weaponry and armor. Even if I believe you, and I'm not saying I do, we still have one significant problem we're facing. What? Even if I wanted to settle myself back in your skull and go to all the trouble of reconnecting nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. Why? I have a deep... I have... Don't worry, I have a deal with them. They said they would help put me back. And you believe them? Yes. Really? Y yes. I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... Really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. 
And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. Yeah, and I don't want that to happen. Okay, I see your point. But I don't, I don't want to let them get you. You're my brain, and I'm your body. And we are not going to let this happen, okay? Well, I suppose I do miss those endorphin rushes when we save the day. All right, what's the plan? I say we go up to the Tink Tank and make them put us back together. Right, look out, Think Tank. This brain is coming out of its jar. I suppose now that we're reunited, you want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the Think Tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sync's Autodoc can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. Well, I'm leaving. I don't need my heart and spine, they can keep that. I got my brain back. Oh, absolutely delightful! That was a mistake, brain. I don't intend to repeat it. It's actually quite pretty. Nobody isn't trying to kill me. Of course, I can't just shut it down. <sighs> okay. A stairway over. Yep, there's a stairway over here. Oh, wait, I can use that. Right, let's see if I can get my brain fitted back in now. Do you require some additional services? Wait a moment. I got a fee for not having a brain in my head. Huh. Guess my brain's not actually being put in yet. Oh well. What's the haps? Right on. The I got some more sound. No, oh, okay. Get your left. Oh, that's something else. Oh well, down to the think tank. One time, the biological research station told me he dropped a mug down his processing chute. When I reached in, that's disgusting. <laughs> 